it's no big deal. Wait, are you a Battle Cup champion ever? No one ever invites me to play. <laughs> I have won before. Okay. I would have won more than a couple if... If you played more? Uh, if I played more. Yeah, well, what happened was I was in this Battle Cup with uh, more than MSS and CCNC if... during Mafia Did Land. you play more? Uh, and the next Mafia game was starting, and they were like, all right, let's just go play Mafia. And we were in Grand Finals, and we just left. Dude, that's not that's not right. Is that also your reason for, for like, not winning a TI? Oh, going to play Mafia? No, 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 as in, like, you would win more TIs if you were in TIs? Oh. No. No? <laughs> All right, we got XD. Sorry, XY. Oh? Second Sunstrike. Did this scout out the smoke? It scouted out, yeah, it scouted it out. This guy's a smoke. map hacker. Like, who actually Sunstrike's there? <laughs> Invoker is actually He's sitting so in base good. for yeah. a second Sunstrike. Dude, it would not and surprise me know. if he's just sitting in the base for one more sun strike. Who knows? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Black might be in trouble here, though. Thirty seconds to shoot. Nah, he's. They're fine. going, wrapping around. No, because they have a ward. They know exactly where he is. Okay, he jumps away. Oh God. Uh, Black oh, is God. super dead. Black, not like this. Lift into a berserker's call. Did I want to skill that one? And now they're gonna try to block. But ooh, nice Astro. Nando was on top of it, and. I think he still ends up on the left side. Yeah, yeah. but still. It's not. It's not where you get Astro. Well, <laughs> I guess he this needed... seems to be a recurring team. Yeah, you know, teams really, really like to go for this level one smoke. Yeah, but normally they do it uh, a little bit earlier, right? Like more in the base. But yeah, that's true. I'm kind of surprised that still happened, especially since the sun strike should have seen it. I, th I believe. No, they definitely seen it. They pinged it out, but I don't think Black realized that they were going for him. And, or he thought he may, could, maybe could run away with the, the pounce, but regardless, that's a good first blood. I do believe Rubik was the one that picked it up, so that's going to be quick boots for him. The bigger thing was, I think Black's positioning was really, really good for the incoming smoke. I think he didn't think that there would be any way that he would get caught out. Right. Because he, he was in this area. The high ground. Yeah, he yeah. would have been like very easily like to pounce like over cliffs or whatever. But I think the more important thing to talk about now is that Execution is running an offensive trialing against Black. And Black does not have any help here. He is... He is on his own. Now the trade-off that they're getting is that DJ is going to have to go up against the trialing, but I think Axe is more than capable of doing it. Yeah, he's perfectly fine with this. I think this is like really bad for Faceless if they waste too much time up here. Yeah. They just probably go for one attempt, and if it doesn't work out, they just oh. leave. That's the one attempt. DJ does get off the Berserker's Call and does get a ton of armor bonus. Looks like he's going to just walk it off, so... And that's the end of it. I think at this point you just leave. Uh, let Ice 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 finish the lane, or just solo the lane now. Okay, so my question is, if you put the Shadow Demon and just the Shadow Demon bottom, is that enough? I don't think it is. No, it's, it's not enough. I think this Rubik Luna lane is too strong, unless they put all three of them. Right. Then I still think that Faceless is perhaps losing out in terms of the lane exchanges, because... DJ should be able to do the 1v1 against Tide, and then uh, Nando will get the Ogre's help. Nando is getting destroyed oh, right now. Sunstrike? Oh, random Sunstrike. Okay, not gonna hit. Yeah, how is this lane going so badly? We were just mentioning that it's not supposed oh. to be this bad. Cavs went for the Alacrity build, and Nando probably just got caught out once, not respecting it too much, and gets right click one too many times. He needs to go for the, the Cuckoo School of like buying Two salves, you know? Yeah. Make sure that you're okay. Random sun strike is gonna hit. Nope. Ooh, that was so close. Man, it's fine. Cap's played. That was really well played by uh, by Jabs, expecting him to go for that shrine. <laughs> what? Gabby, pretty much free farming. And Black is not. Black has not actually seen like more than three, four creeps. It's a rough life, man. Yeah, he's really suffering. And the, the bigger issue right now for Faceless is that because of this lane setup, without investing too many resources, like a lot of resources, like they have to smoke again. And unless they continuously do this, it's very, very predictable where they're going to be moving. Okay. Now, let's, let's assume that nothing really big happens. Like, you know, just both teams farm for the next three, four minutes. 
obviously execration is gonna go very far ahead in terms of the, the lane stage. Bottom lane, Black is in trouble. They're pushing him out of lane. Like the, he's support, the, the supports are coming in. He does have 1.2 pounds. They do see Black, and now Black's stuck in there. They lift him up. Lucent Beam not available. In fact, they kind of toss him in an awkward position. Now the row is going to hit on Gabby. The creep wave is going to help out, but the disruption and the Sunstrike. Nice play here by Ogre, actually blocking the Sunstrike. And now they're going to go on XY instead. Gabby going to get off the right click. Illusion is still doing quite a bit of damage, but Gabby, he understands Illusion will time out, and they're going to get a triple kill on the bottom side. Everybody on the side of Execration. Oh, that is bad. Really extremely happy, and guess what? It's a three-man shower time at the Shrine. Give me some Craigasm in the chat, because this is that was the best shower the... ever. Wait, there's a Courier? Oh, oh wait, Sunstrike? Okay. <laughs> These Sunstrikes are great. Wait, Courier? Oh, no, that's their, their, their own Courier. <laughs> he was getting hit by the, the Catapult. And it got healed up by the, the shrine. And they got hit by again. I was like, what was that? I thought like one of the the heroes hit it. That's like the ultimate value. They yeah. they saved the courier too. The courier actually would have died if it wasn't for the shrine heal because it got hit by the catapult twice. <laughs> so, so you invest all those resources into giving Gabby making a gank off. happen, and then you get Yeah, your entire tri lane dies. What do you do now? Like, the, the movement is going to be so awkward. And they get scouted uh, once more. It, this could be really, really bad for X, I mean, uh, for Faceless. Look at 55's play. He knows the road's coming, and then he just blocks it. But, Sentry And they're baiting it out, too. Oh. Well. All right, they're just going to call it there. But once again, another rotation going to waste. Nuts is still level one. Not to mention this Earth Spirit is only level two. All right, so that, that goes. Oh, hold on, thought. Black. Going to come in here as well. The road misses. I think they still get the kill though. Ogre very very tanky. He's gonna try to run to the scene. Nice stun here. That's gonna stun the Luna as well. That's gonna be one kill. But I think Gabby's gonna run in, going for the XZ kill or XY. That's gonna be one kill. The Hadouken almost stole it. Now Black, he does not have pounds for seven more seconds, and so they're gonna just right click it. Yeah, they got a zap. There you go. That's gonna be one, two again, more two for, for execration. This lane is getting out of control, and the worst part about it is that Black doesn't have anywhere to go. There's no real lane change. If he goes top, I think he just gets absolutely destroyed by Axe. And you can't jungle. He doesn't have Iron Talon or level 6. Are you watching this uh, Nuts jungle pattern? This technology? I'm uh, watching him pull it to the tower All to right. help him level. Top lane looks like Ravage has been used. To Very ensure... nicely played by Ice Ice Ice. To ensure the Ravage Sun Strike. I mean, that does put Ravage on cooldown, but it's it's no big deal. Like, the first Ravage... That, you... Yeah, I don't think they're in any real position to take a big engagement with the Ravage anyways right now. The supports are very under-leveled, so you might as well just make use of it. And Killing off DJ is a pretty big kill. Yeah. So I want to point out that... Oh, uh Spark? They're going to force them to use the... Oh. I want to point out that Ice 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 has the Blink Dagger queued up, which is definitely not the standard item here. Mech is generally the, the way to go, but... I think given the situation that they're in, maybe like one Ravage to, to win like a 3-0 to zero engagement is kind of what they need to make a comeback. Yeah, it's definitely a, a possibility. And I mean, it's it's one of those things, you know, you just queue it up, but it's so far away, you can always make adjustments if necessary. So you have to look at, look, he just spent all of his gold and he bought a bunch of utility. Oh, they're trying to get the wrap around. Ice, 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 he might get caught here. They're gonna blow an eclipse for this. Yeah. yeah. And this okay. is a very, very dead Tidehunter. And I think with Tidehunter dead, there's really no way for them to defend this top tower. It's probably gonna just take a lot of damage. They might not be able to get it, but it's gonna take a lot of damage at least. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you can actually like break out of Berserker Call with Kraken, right? Or it's Taunt. I don't think you can actually break it. Like, you would break it, but the taunt still remains, is what you're saying? Wait, wouldn't that just mean nothing happens? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm oh, not... roll? Okay, the kick's gonna miss okay, as well. Okay, he misses it. X, Y? Huh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I guess I can we'll, look we'll it up. We'll find out very soon. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Okay. And I have no excuse for being wrong on that one, because this, this uh, synergy... Or this matchup has been in the game for like, I don't know, God knows how many years, so. It's alright. 
Dota has a lot of things to remember. Oh, nuts. He has a haste rune, he's fine. Yep. He has a haste rune, yeah. So well, with this rotation at top, at least Black has a little bit of space to farm, but he's so behind right now. I, I think the only way that Execration could kind of blunder this lead is if they make a big mistake at, let's say, one of the pushes or oh, during top. one of the team fights. And now they're going to go on Gabby. This is a very important kill, and they do get it. Was that Ravage spent? Yes, it was. So, and so Black also TP'd up here. Just to make sure they get the kill, yeah. Yeah, so even though that Luna kill is big, I, I don't think that's going to be enough to make a comeback. So that brings me to my point of, I, I think Execration will only lose their lead if they make a huge mistake. It's a start. Alright, DJ has his Vanguard now. Ooh, they actually got a pick on Nando as well. Sorry for missing that kill. Okay, well the supports are definitely roaming a lot more efficiently now that the Laney Sage has ended. I think with that OD kill, it's actually fairly even now. Yeah, back-to-back -back core kills is not bad. Completely out of mana, but... He's got 11 stick charges. No Ravage, though. But the supports have been spotted out, so I don't think there's any gonna, be, gonna be anything coming out of this. Luna does have the Helm of Dominator finish, so... We're gonna see a push coming on, but Tie Hunter is very, very good at just, like, sitting in front of the building and tanking it. XY's gonna oh, roll so away. Close. He's actually still in there, but they're not gonna chase. And now Tie Hunter is surrounded from all sides. Uh, I don't know if I should make it on this one. Yeah, he's gone. So you can see now, see, so it doesn't break the taunt. Okay. You right, you right. I shouldn't have doubted a Nexon champion. Yep. It's okay, it happens. Execration will translate into a tier 1 tower. This is giving a black a lot of space and time to farm, but... I mean, he's still only halfway to his Shadow Blade. He he got destroyed so badly in lane that he's gonna need way more time than this. He got a couple of minutes to farm, but I mean, if you look at where he's progressed to, he's only got 1600 gold. Mm -hmm. And if you decide to go straight for the Shadow Blade, you're still gonna be very, very weak. I'm personally a little surprised that DJ has not gone for the straight blink. Given how aggressive he normally likes to play. Remember that Slaughter game? He was just like going behind tier 2 towers like 3 minutes in. Alright, top lane, they're smoking. Ravage is up in 10 seconds. Okay. I'm sure they have Sunstrike at the ready as well. They ping out DJ, that's the one they want. But here comes the TIE Hunter, they slow down Lando. Okay, nice Berserker's call. And that's gonna be Ravage. I think it's just time to leave him go. I think he's pretty much dead. Okay, thinks about the Ravage, but very, very good. Astro is going to put him away. DJ still slow down here. XY coming in, putting that magnetize pretty much on everybody. Ty Hunter still lumbering. Now, but it might get stolen. It yes. gets, does get stolen. Yep. Oh, and the Astro is going to oh, save him. XY is going to be dead. And now there's Ravage and Eclipse on the dire side. This is a huge loss here by Faceless. And I think with both of these ultimate, they're going to just roll down at least one tower, if not two. They immediately smoke up. They want to defend this mid-tower with this Ravage. This is a very, very good play from Execration. Okay, Glyph is available. That DJ is very low. He does have the Vanguard regen coming in. Nando's gonna oh, start hitting. Oh, this is gonna be huge. Here comes the back. Uh-oh, Jabs. He's gonna get lifted. They're gonna toss him back in. And the Ravage. Bang! Ravage is only gonna hit one. No, it does hit two. Tie Hunter on the right side is out of mana. Does have a Mango, but no Teleport. He's gonna pop that Magic Wand. He's trying to juke, but he is he's in here for good. And now Execration. Pretty much styling all over Faceless. 5593 five, just crushing them with that Rubik gameplay. That was so well played by him. Stealing that Ravage and then immediately smoking to rotate mid because Faceless were trying to disengage. They assumed, you know, the whole team was going to push top. Yeah. I mean, for viewers that don't normally watch C Dota, the, the reason why this game is like so crazy is the fact that Faceless, by all accounts, is normally considered as the best C team, like, bar none. There's no one even really close to it. This is the team that you see competing in the international tournaments. This is the team that, you know, people thought was going to make a deep TI run. But right now, Execration, who no longer could qualify for this LAN event, is just wrecking Faceless. Maybe it's the nerves. It's, once again, it's nah, that, man. uh... It's when you nothing have nothing to, to lose. lose. That's yeah, nothing to lose statement. versus everything to lose. Yeah. Well, Faceless... The one thing that they're very, 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 very good at, which I think is the reason why they're considered as a best suit team, is that they might get into this situation, but to actually break the high ground and get the GG out of them, 
that's a different story. I've seen many teams have this kind of start versus faceless, and then they just blunder it on a high ground push. So I would not put it past faceless to make a deep late game comeback, but the odds are definitely against them. Yeah, I agree. And they definitely have the high ground defense between Earth Spirit, Invoker, and a Tidehunter is a very, very difficult high ground to be break. They would definitely need some kind of big pick off. Yeah. I mean, I would even add Slark to the formula of a high ground defense. Like, he's not actually going to do the defense, but he's a very good hero to come from behind and just, like, snipe a random Rubik or, or whatnot. But I gotta say, that last team fight up top where the Tide Hunter was doing that slow dance, I was just really impressed with Nando's, like, patience with the Astro, right? Like, two Astros right. in a row. Top. Black's got the Shadow Blade. This is going to be the first use of it. Okay, it's yeah. going to be a easy kill. Yep. You know what the, the, the crazy thing is? Uh -huh. There's six faceless games. And this could potentially be their final one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless I did the math wrong, I, I do believe they have to win every single game. But if I did the math wrong, maybe they, they're allowed one draw. And then so, they got to win everything else yeah. to tie it. After this game, I'm going to check the math again. I'm pretty sure they have to win all of them. I, I'm pretty sure that's the case as well. But, you know. Won't be the first time I'm wrong about something. Happens. Happens. All right, Tide Hunter looks like he's gone for a casual headdress. I wonder if he just bought something before he died. That's likely the case, because he still has a blink dagger queued up. And that last fight, you, people always do this. They queue it up and then they just change their mind afterwards. That's true. But you saw in the last team fight how important it was for him to blink in, right? Because oh, they're going on ice, ice, ice. Right. It's gonna be a big kill Ooh, because the if they kill him off. Missed, though. And now he's going to try to walk away. TP is available. Eclipse is going to get used. Is it? Oh, nice lift. That's going to be a kill. I mean, he would have probably survived if he ravaged and then TP. This is this is why you always try to TP out, even if there's like pretty much no way you're going to get out. Because even though he does die, and also if he ravaged, I think it's going to be even worse because you're going to get lifted and have it stolen. Well, There's it no way you can make it in time, I don't think. I guess you're really yeah, all in in that case. It right? depends. You, yeah. But but yeah, I mean at least like you know even though he dies, he draws out eclipse. an eclipse. Uh oh, and now that's why Magnetize is gonna get used. Nando's gonna take a ton of damage. Four staff. He's silenced though. He needs to Astro himself. Astro? No, he gets completely chun slammed by Jabs as cold snap. Very nicely done. But does not stop this push though. Execration pressure and bottom as we speak. They might def consider defending this. No, they don't. Did you have Ravage? Yeah, I thought they had glyph though. If there's no glyph, then there's no way. All right, so let's pretend for a second that you're the captain of execration. You have a very, very decent lead, but you know that the faces high ground is very dangerous. You know that they perhaps are the more experienced team. Like, what are you looking to do for your team right now to essentially close out this game where you have a very, very big lead? Uh, I mean, while they have a lead, it's not exactly, you know, the kind of lead where you can do whatever you want. Okay. Mid lane, they're going on a, an illusion. So because you don't exactly have the kind of lead where you can do whatever you want, you still have to play it safe. And right now the best way to play it safe is just you wait for that Eclipse cooldown. You should definitely work on getting deep rewards mm -hmm. so you can tr completely control the map. And then you just slowly build up your advantage and take the rest of the objectives with your, your Eclipse. But even then, you still have to be really careful because I think even with everything up, Faces are still strong enough to beat them in a team fight right now if they slip up. Yeah, especially if Tide Hunter gets to initiate with the Ravage. Like, you can just yeah. actually blow everybody up. To which case, I, I gotta ask your opinion. You know, the, the Manta transition from Gabby is very, very standard, but in this game, do you just say, look, let's just get a BKB. We're not gonna lose any team fights if you do have to BKB. Mm, I don't think he needs it just yet. I think going for the BKB this early is very, very all in. I think that's the kind of pickup you make when you decide, like, okay, we're definitely strong enough to just take high ground with this purchase. Not, sure. I'm going to win a team fight with this purchase. Okay. What about the halfway route? Like, Yasha into BKB and then back to Manta? I think it's still safer just to pick up the, the Manta and then just do some damage. Yeah. Okay. Well, the only yeah. downside to it is that you have to remember there's an SD. So he can easily just make illusions of your illusions, and then you have to deal with Luna again. Although the, you have you have an OD on your team, the orb is gonna 
you know, deal a bunch of damage to the Illusion, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, Nuts gonna get scouted here before he drops his ward, so I guess not too bad. Oh, interesting. Rubik picks up Aether Lens. For that Ravage steal. Makes sense, right? Like, sometimes, especially with the Aether Lens, you get to not get hit by Ravage or just get that extra yeah. couple seconds to steal it. That's a, that, yeah, you're actually right about that. Yeah. It's actually really important because the only way to be out of Ravage range is if you wait for the Ravage and you blink into it and steal it. Right. Or you wait for the Ravage and then walk back in because I think the, the range is like pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, we saw in that last engagement where 55 managed to steal the Ravage. He was he still got hit by the Ravage after he stole it. So the Aether Lens allows you to do that. This is actually one of the few cases where you want to go Aether Lens first on Rubik. I mean, don't get me wrong. Aether Lens is a great Rubik item, but generally there's like more pressing priorities like getting, let's say, a four staff for your team, a glimmer for your team, or, or like a blink for yourself. There's a faceless smoke here. But it seems like they completely missed out where Exec Execration were going to be. Oh! Nando misses the deny on bottom tower. I mean, all things considered though, despite the, the lead that Execration's in, I think Faceless fans out there shouldn't be too worried because this game is slowing down. I feel like this this like 5,000 net worth lead that Execration has isn't really that big. It's just honestly one team fight. Yep. Especially with Tidehunter having the Blink Dagger now, a lot can change in one team fight. And I don't think they know that he has it just yet. Okay, so here comes the Execration Smoke. This could potentially be devastating for Faceless. Do they have Black detection, breaks though? breaks this out. Yeah. Sunstrike? Going on somewhere. Oh, they're going all the way around. They see the Courier. They know the Courier is there. Luna's so gonna get that... seen. Luna's gonna get seen by the crew wave, but SSI just ported out. Now the team is gonna be isolated. Black? Oh, the Pounce blocks oh, and now gets... Oh, that is so oh. bad. They're gonna focus on Nuts. Nuts is gonna be the first one to go down now. Now XY gets lifted. XY's... Oh, he cancels the TP with that lift. Okay, Black. Did I have detection? Nope. No detection. Wow. That DJ call to begin things off was huge because they got the Shadow Demon. I mean, they never killed Black, but I don't think Black was... I mean, it would be good to kill him, but... It's okay that they yeah, didn't. But more importantly, yeah, the Shadow Demon. Yeah. And the Shadow Demon was actually a bonus. They broke the smoke and they just went for the Slark because the smoke broke. Yep. And I think Nuts just accidentally walked into it. Link call, that's gonna find Black again. The ports are coming in, but I don't know if the taunt's long enough. In fact, it's gonna be a counter initiation with Ravage, Sunstrike. Ooh, Deafening Blast not gonna hit because They of need the to kill this Astro. OD off. Oh, they're gonna try. Nice defensive force seven. Now pounce forward here by Rubik. Not something you see too often. Invoker self yields oh, into another Berserker's DJ taunt. is a god. DJ is gonna find him, and they have Deafening Blast stolen. That's Deafening Blast, but again, is there detection? The oh, they see there you somehow. Was. But it's not going to be enough here. Nice cold snap by Jabs, and now they're going to focus on DJ. Meanwhile, Black is still in this fight with decent mana and HP, and... They've lost nobody in that engagement? Nope. Did you see what DJ did? That was such a good play. He knows that Jabs has the Yules. Right. And he blinks on top of Jabs, Waits fully the expecting him yeah. To, yeah, to, blink, to bait the Yules, and then he calls him afterwards. That was just such a good play by DJ. But luckily for her Faceless, they... Don't lose him, but that's like your Ravage committed again, and they get absolutely nothing out of it. Yep. And Execration, I mean, they know they have absolutely nothing now. They're just going to go take the rest of the Tier 2s. Silver Lighting, last one. at least you didn't give them Ravage, right? Because the way that 55's been yeah. playing, like, he's... I'm expecting him to steal Ravage a couple more times this game. Although Ice 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 generally very good at protecting his Ravages. And now, we're going to see the Siege coming. 60 seconds till the next Ravage is available. I think Execration could maybe fall back to Roche? Or is that a little bit oh, too they can take the they can take the Shrine side now. Okay. They know that yeah. Ravage is going to be down for quite a while. You can take the Shrine and then probably start pushing out your lanes again. Like top lane, there's no reason for you to give up damage on your tier 2. There's a gem being delivered here on the Courier. Unfortunately, Black was not able to snipe it. So Maybe he'll catch it on the way back? Okay. Well, I mean, the gem got delivered. That's the, the biggest thing. Oh, Every piece of gold helps. Oh, he's just going to miss it. Now Roche is going to be attempted. Black, I don't know if he has any idea whether this gem is on the on the field. I don't think he does. At least not yet. Alright, Jabsy finishes up his scepter. Yep. Well, after losing the last engagement, I think uh, you're a Faceless fan. 
Now's the time to be worried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially now there's Aegis on the Luna. Now they're gonna put it on the OD. OD now queuing up for a BKB, which, you know, very, very good See, against the So Ravish. this is, yeah, this is, this is kind of what I mean. You don't exactly want to build that BKB just yet, right? right? Because Faceless could still potentially beat you in a team fight. And if you buy your BKB so early, you're just wearing down the charges. But now, like, after they took that team fight, they even have an Aegis. You're pretty safe to just go all in on this BKB because I mean, the payoff is most likely going to be a set of racks, I, and then it, and then it's worth it. I agree with you, but we're gonna be seeing a different song if they lost that team fight, right? Yes. Then if, they then you if, don't go for the BKB. right. If, if if they lost the team fight, we're like, well, maybe they needed a BKB to like not die. But any case, we're gonna have uh, Luna just farming it up a little bit. And it seems like Faceless still wants to hang around a little bit to take a fight. I don't know if they're... They turned daytime. They saw... They, they caught him out. They know that the supports are hiding here. Okay, Demonic Persia opened things up. They want to kill Gabby. I'm not sure whether that's actually possible. They're going to throw everything on the Gabby. You can see that nuke damage is actually quite strong. Okay. I can now see why they made for that move. And it looks like they're not going to get punished. Ooh, that was so close. All right, that that combo is actually insane. Wow, yeah. The amount of damage that comes out of it. He was the max level exhort with the soul catcher did seven hundred forty two damage. He had twenty three hundred HP when he was on strength shreds, and that chunked him like to almost I don't know, like seven hundred. Yeah, that's crazy. But now he's back to full. So, uh oh, seems like faces have some idea to defend their the shrine. They're just scouting it out. There's, there's no way you try to take a fight like this right now. Well, if the sh if they have shrine juices, maybe they think about it. But their, their, their only option at this point, in my opinion, is just to fight on the high ground and hope for some kind of overcommitment from execration. BKB is finished on the Luna. I really wish execration would just wait for that BKB delivery. Like, you play so clean and precise for the last twenty five minutes. To blunder it here would be very bad. They're just going to take it slowly. You hit it with Nando, because he has Aegis, and just use the Manta Illusions from your Luna. Okay. And they back off. DJ's going to get a little bit antsy and walk up the hill here. This kick is not going to hit Nando. I mean, DJ just laughs at the pain. Look at his items. He's not in any position to worry about too much damage. They would have to throw so much at DJ to kill him off. And now BKB gets delivered here on Gabby. It's it's go time. Pike gets activated. They know it's time to actually go and try to finish this game. Okay, Blink Anger Smash. We see that in 55, very patient with the Ravage Steel. He has Blink as well as Aether Lens ready. Nuts taking oh, a nuts. ton of damage. Nuts, maybe even go down to the beast. They're piece. just going to go in on yep. this. That's going to be the kill here. Tidehunter is still holding to, to his Ravage, but he's going to get called and he's dead. DJ. Gonna get the unstoppable streak. No buyback on Tie Hunter for 50 seconds. Execration does not know this, but the fact that he has not bought back by now will give them a, a lot of insurance. Execration looking to finish this game. Okay, blink call. Blink call. This is a big kill. Jab yeah. goes down here. It's really bad. Jab gets he stunned. Does have buyback. Magnetize this hit on four. That's really good damage. Your Sunstrike's gonna come out. Not gonna hit on anything though, and it's gonna be faceless. Dropping the first lane of Rax DJ again. Just like walking the pain off. Okay, 55 is gonna go down to the glaives. That's not so bad. Illusion. Blink kick, not gonna hear DJ. In fact, might get taunt and dead. Yeah, the spin's gonna take him down here. Tornado's gonna oh, send both of them in here. They need to kill everybody. And top looks like top, they killed off Black, who was trying to split push. Okay, I was wondering Black wasn't if Black able. Was. He wasn't able to take the Rex. Okay, well he did. This he did a, a very hole. good job at like damaging it, but it's not enough at this point. If they took one Rex. It might it it would have been definitely a good trade, but well, if they took one rack, it would have been a tier three out of it. Uh, even game, right? So, I'm definitely not. <laughs> I mean, it's just like even it's like a little little bit of hope they can hold on to. Even in terms of like you know base structure, Rackers. yeah. Right. Well, Black, does he have and any OD, other he... big items to come up? BKB. Yeah, he's still so... he's still a little, he's still a little ways away from it. So that was a lane of racks for a tier 3, and you have to expend two buybacks. SD and Invoker both bought back. Yeah. Things are looking really, really bad for Faceless, especially with Execration having Axe this farm. This Axe is not going to die. Yeah. 
Again, I just want to give a shout out to Nando because the way that he's controlling the Titan during these fights are just exceptional. You can't kill him because he's got Kraken, so just Astro him. So every time they Astro the Titan Hunter, Execration uses that four second to essentially take the team fight and start picking off people. And once Titan Hunter comes back, well, half your team's already dead. The Ravage suddenly doesn't look so good anymore. So Rubik, he has his blink now as well. Yeah. It's just that much harder to get you know, off your... He had it in the last fight. It's just that yeah. there was no Ravage to steal. I think the bigger thing is that now OD has BKB on top of his Aegis. So it's just... Oh, his Aegis timed out, but he has BKB now. This is a very patient play from Execration as well. Yeah, man. It's, it's, this is actually very surprising to see because they're playing as if they were, they were the ones who needed to win all the six games. I mean... This does not look like a C C execration game, right? Oh, Yule Scepter, that's gonna find one, and he's gonna pop his BKB! XY did not get the memo that he has the BKB, XY is gonna try to pour it out. Okay, he barely made it off. Well, they Jabs do all get out. Go. Okay, and they force out the BKB, not so bad here for Faceless. Yeah, that's a small bad. victory. There is, no, like C Gabby is, there is no C going... throw in this game, which is like... Super impressive. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a flame, but like, in the last five or six days, I've been casting the Star Series C qualifiers. I, 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 I agree with you. I mean, a lot of the times in these situations, it would just be like, one team would win a team fight, and then they would just go the complete other way. They would take turns winning team fights. But yeah. none of that here, Execration just winning fight after fight. It's like a very well-played Dota game. Well, again, I think... Strategically for Faceless, if they could drag out this game, they have a better shot, you know, than taking fights now. So, I I, I don't think that's actually the case, though. I think if you're if I was playing with Faceless Draft, I would very very much expect to win the early to mid phase. Well, I mean, my point is, you, you can't win right now, right? There's no option to win right now. If you drag you out, you have this to game, split push yeah, really hard. If you drag out this game and hope for like you know a C game. Where execration kind of throws, then you have a better chance. Oh, this is their best chance. Yo, they especially have to catch if this happens here. Blink stun, that's going to hit on 55. They have Astro, though. They will Astro him. Falcon both. Okay, they, they need to get out now, yeah, immediately. Black. Now run, Black. He's going to pop his ultimate. Blink call! Oh, that's going to find Black. Ice, Ice, Ice. Does he need to ravage? He does ravage, and he needs to anchor. I'm not sure whether he anchor he or anchored, not. He anchored. He anchored. Okay, he's good. He's good. And now BKP gets activated on the backside. Black is still okay, and this time they get yet another BKP out. Okay, they but live. Black coming oh, back in. Black? He's just running through. He's trying to cut the wave. He knows what's coming. Okay. Ice. Right, that's it. And once again, that was a ravage for just to save your carry. That's yeah. definitely not what you want. And they still have creeps here. I mean, you got these two creeps. I don't think we could fault Black for trying to engage in that, in that area, right? Like, no, you, definitely not. You see two free kills. Oh, oh. he's going for Rubik. Nope, he's not. Top though, he Invoker's knows. pushing in. Somebody has to tend to this wave. Invoker needs to hit the range racks. Okay, the melee's fine too, I guess. No, 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 he's changing over. Okay. Oh, it's so close. It's gonna get protected. Meanwhile, the base though, the base. No Ravage here. Gets Astro immediately. Black moving forward. They see him and Black gets lifted. He does actually dark pack it off and now Gabby pops a BKB. Goes to work. The hammers being dropped left and right. Jab's trying to run away. He's gonna try to survive. Uses the enemy but I think he's gonna get found here. Or is that forward here at 55 going for the kill and the support will kill the core. And very nicely done here by Execration. Back in the mid lane. The glaives are bouncing left and right and that's gonna be a second lane of racks. They did get the range racks up top. But that is... So... I think this might be the end. One thing to point out is uh, SD Luna, very very powerful combo. But <laughs> Luna Rubik, if you if you pick the SD to deny it, I mean you still steal disruption and it's not what happened. Much work it did. did yeah, he, he stole disrupt. Okay. He has disruption and he just made illusions of the Luna and the Luna just he he that's how he killed the Invoker. He just had illusions on uh, of Luna. Okay, well. I'm going to quickly look over to the website and check whether I did the math wrong. Okay. Because... see, Faceless... Yeah, I think they needed to win every single game. Ah, 